ladies and gentlemen welcome to my youtube channel i have a double review today two reviews uh one's a brand new product an amazing brand new product that's why i had i really had to get this out as soon as possible and obviously one is pretty much a former main but also what i think is uh one of the best mice you could get honestly if not the best mouse so we got two mice here and the reason i'm going to talk about both of them is because both of them i believe are the top two mice out on the market currently um i don't think anything's going to beat these for a while even with specs coming out with other mice and stuff that might jump up a little bit um this has got a lot more in detail than i realize and it's they're both really amazing both have very good use cases so anyways we'll start with the basilisk v3 pro mentioning that one first as you can see a very very nice mouse the bottom of it 100 percent pure ptfe feet and then we got the newest literally newest like brand fucking new i think maybe one review i've seen out so far on it but the newest mouse out which is the death adder v3 wired not wireless not the v3 pro this is the v3 wired now i know you guys see the grips on it, it does not come with grips just want to mention that that's a big deal with me but it's fine um, I did have grips, obviously, universal grips. And here's the bottom of it. Um, but the reason why we're testing these today is because these are both, we're not testing, but we're gonna review these today because I both have obviously tested these. I've tested the Death Adder V3 for about, I wanna say close to five hours now. So this is the first initial thought, but uh, the Basilisk V3 I've tested quite a bit so far um, throughout the past couple months or whatever. It's still kind of a new mouse. I mean, it's, it's literally brand new when you look at it, but it's still a newer mouse regardless so um i do have specs pulled up too from razor's website specifically so you guys get details but um i'm just gonna give first initial impressions of each and tell you why I, I like them before i give you the specs so the basilisk v3 um the motion sync that both of these mice come with but with the motion sync on the basilisk with the weight for control on a on a person that uses high sense in game is very nice for shooters that a lot that have more tracking um, it is a very very nice mouse um, But the use case for this mouse is not specifically for FPS games now granted I think the shape is the now I'm gonna say this very very sternly because a lot of people believe that the uh, The Logitech G Pro Super Light and the Death Adder V3 are the best shapes out there for you know competitive gaming or whatever Just the best comfort, but I truly believe that the Basilisk is the best shape out there and that's my personal opinion, but I also truly think that the way it's contoured and everything is like the perfect like just mold grip and control and with the weight you have more control because you you're like pushing more weight so it's like slower when you're aiming things no matter how high the sense is but the, it's like just aiming compared to a lightweight mouse it's just more control so you have more focus and it's just really really good for tracking so this mouse has definitely made me love this mouse more and more as i've used it um I truly think the shape is what makes it special though. And then obviously you have the DPI button here. I guess I could show you the buttons now. So the DPI button, I like the uh, two side buttons here. I believe those are the best side buttons on the market. Um, they just feel the best. And I'm always so in love with feeling that side button feel. It has more of like a push in, like kind of like, not like a, a tactile, you know, just like switch click. It's like a, like, a, like a gradual push in, but it's not like a mushy push in. It's very light. And I feel like that's probably the best. And the way their, their, their size of the buttons are and the, the way they're you know, coded and everything, it just feels so nice to hit these side buttons. Like, I, I mean, I, I actually bind my side buttons for um, crouch and prone. So when I'm doing prone shooting, like say in Call of Duty, when I'm, when I'm going straight to prone drop shotting, you would call it, uh, this is probably the best mouse to feel that, like, you know, aim, stop, uh, drop shot, and then hold that button down. It feels amazing. Um, this These do have the Gen 3 optical switches on it. The scroll wheel has a tactile scroll wheel, but also a free spin scroll wheel, and then it has a smart reel. The smart reel, the way smart reel works is, I mean, this is more for productivity, not much for gaming, but um, the the, the the free spin is where it just spins freely. The tactile spins tactile, obviously, but the the uh, smart reel will start tactile, and then it's the harder you spin it, it'll just unlock, and then it'll automatically be free spin. And then as soon as you stop it, it'll lock back in place to a tactile feel. Now, I I was hoping that it would be very useful in certain games, but uh, it's very weird. So it's definitely more of a productivity feature. Um, definitely don't use it in FPS shooters. Trust me, it's a little weird. <laughs> but um. Other than that, like the 100% the pure PTFE feet, amazing. The 30,000 DPI sensor is amazing. It's actually the best on the market. Um, 
I think I don't know and I, I'm gonna have to look this up I'll probably look this up before the end of the video but for now I believe the uh, the, the speed of the sensor is 750 if not 650 I know the death adder the newest death adder is the fastest sensor like uh, IPS they call it IPS max IPS and this is 750 but I don't know if the Basilisk V3 Pro is 750 or 650 so we're gonna have to look into that it might be 750 but that would mean that it literally just trumps anything else out there so uh, for an example there's actually a, a mouse that has a 35,000 DPI sensor it's the Asus ROG or something uh, um, it's not harpoon or whatever but it's the newest one that they collaborated with aim labs and that one has a 35,000 dpi sensor and it still has a 650 max ips so the sensor is good but it's only just slightly good in terms of accuracy it's probably like a 99.9 percent .9 accuracy sensor this one's a 99.8 percent accuracy sensor so that max ips i think automatically just makes it better uh in terms of like the speed and you know accuracy of it um that 0.2 percent 0.1 percent is not that big of a difference anyways but they everyone every reviewer out there saying this sensor that's on this is the best sensor out even after the asus one came out so something to consider when you think about that but other than that there's nothing else that comes close to these two mice um but anyways the basilisk has the, you have the option for 2.4 gigahertz and bluetooth um you have option for profile saving as well. So if you don't want to use Synapse, I understand it's buggy as hell. Um, and then you got the wireless charging puck. And then with the wireless charging dock is where you can unlock your 4,000 Hertz pulling rate. After that, if you don't have it, it's just a standard 1,000 Hertz pulling rate. Um, simple as that, but man, it's a beautiful mouse. I, I love this mouse so much. This is honestly like the best shape I've ever felt and I don't think it's ever gonna change. Um, but I do really miss like having i want the lightweight version of this they really should just make even if it has no rgb just make a lightweight version just to test it on the market see what happens who knows maybe the death adder fans that are all fans of the ergo shape will uh switch over to it who knows anyways there you go that's the basilisk v3 amazing mouse um but i'm not done like obviously talking about it yet but i'm just done talking about the specs of it and then here we got the death adder v3 wire which is this is the newest mouse out and this is, I want to say this is for competitive gaming, this is the absolute best mouse you can get. Um, this thing is like, in, in just a couple hours of usage, I'm already going, wow, like game changing uh, in terms of the feel and stuff. Now, wireless, I get it, but I've tested the wireless uh, Death Adder V3 Pro. I never uploaded a, a review on it. I still have the video saved in my computer, but I had never actually uploaded a video on the Death Adder V3 Pro. And that was because I actually returned it. And the reason I returned it is because I felt like it was a little sporadic for the sense. Like it's a good mouse and I felt like it was a little sporadic, but I felt like maybe, and I don't know if it's just the nitpicking of it, but the wireless connection just didn't feel like as instantaneous. Like, like it's like almost just wireless completely to wired, like almost, identical it felt a little off so i felt like after using that and then using this this that's that's how i know i feel a difference is the wired connection has like an instantaneous feel and i'm like snapping and locking perfectly with this mouse um and as you can see too i want to mention this as well but i do usually use the razor strider which is the hybrid pad but i actually have the cloth pad out and that's because i believe with um the way my sense has been changed and stuff in game which i'm still kind of experimenting with um my next couple stream series is literally trying to dial in my setting as best as possible for the best possible performance for me. Um, but I felt that like I needed to try soft pad because I will actually, I know, I, I know you guys see the, um, the uh 100 pure ptfe feed on here but i'm actually going to be putting on some glass skates on here and that's because i definitely want like as smooth of a glide as possible but also i want to be able to have stopping power on this soft pad so that's why i'm testing that obviously the hybrid pad is the same thing but you still have just a tiny bit of stopping power like just a smidgen of it but i think with glass skates on that it's going to be a little ridiculous and that's why i brought the uh, goliath this extended out it's an old tried and true mouse pad it's smooth feels good to the touch it's really nice it still glides well um but yeah that, those glass gates are probably going to benefit on this more than on the on the strider so anyways back to the death adder um 30, 000 dpi sensor like i said max ips 750 59 grams of weight um my only caveat is that it feels very similar of a scroll wheel to the um to the basilisk v3 pro where the clicks like it's not like as tactile it's more like a smooth transfer and the only thing i could compare that to like in terms of um like like what i like better 
uh, with more of a tactile feel, but still smoothish, is this right here, which is the Viper 8 kilohertz. Now, this is my backup mouse for good. Um, this thing still is, performs really well. It's just got a little bit lesser of a, an accurate sensor. It's a 20,000 DPI sensor. Um, but this mouse is still really, really good. This is my backup for sure. It's got the glass gates on it, as you can see. Um, but yeah, I wanted to mention, because this, this the scroll wheel, like you don't hear it, obviously, but the feel. The feel of the scroll wheel is very like smooth still, but it has much more of a tactile feel. So it was definitely nice to feel that. Um, but the only thing I can say compared to the two is that I do like the more recessed, or not recessed, but the more raised um, scroll wheel that's higher up instead of the more flush scroll wheel of the Viper 8 kilohertz. Um, this, cause, this is just because I'm so used to the Basilisk V3 Pro. Mind you, I forgot to mention, for those that are watching the Basilisk for the V3 Pro, it does have side clicks, obviously. But if you don't know that by now, if you don't know about the, you know, the G502 slash Basilisk family, you would not know that they had those fucking side clicks on the scroll wheel. But anyways, this doesn't have side clicks. Just wanted to mention that. But anyways, Gen 3 optical switches um, does not come with mouse grips. I said that earlier. It does not come with mouse grips very unfortunate that's the one thing i think they should have just added into it as well um because 70 dollars is like it's a good it's a good price especially for a wired connection you're saving more than half from a wireless connection but add the grips and that really sells it i already have grips so it's not a big deal um but anyways the only other caveats i have with this mouse is the side buttons which the side buttons are really nice and big i do like that but it's the way they click in as you can hear it's like it's nice and easy. It's very easy to, to, to push in and touch and feel, but it feels more or less like I'm trying to click my left click and right click feel. You know what I mean? It's not like a, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's not, it's not like a, like a, like a, like a gradual push in where I feel like it's smooth. This feels like it's just like a tactile bump, like a boop, boop, like I'm pushing a button, like a key press, you know, like it's not like smooth in. It's just like a click, click. It's weird, but it's not a big, it's not a big deal. And I've gotten used to it already. Like I said, it's honestly like just, it's a small caveat. Like I would personally rather have the death at, I mean the, the basilisk uh, side buttons on this and that would be fucking insane. But other than that, I really don't see any flaws in this mouse at all. 100% pure PTFE feet. They're smooth as butter. Um, these will definitely be backup feet to when I wear out the living hell out of my glass skates. Uh, but other than that, this mouse is amazing. Um, I wanted to pull up the specs from Razer's website for both mice, though, so you guys can see um, the actual details. I mean, I know you guys could look this up on your own and everything, but uh, definitely just to further show why this is such a good mouse, um, both mice are really good. So let's switch over that right now. We got the Death Adder V3 here. Now, tech specs, I guess we just skipped over to tech specs. Um, right-handed wired speed flex cable 30,000 even max speed IPS 750 that's a big deal max acceleration 70 G's that's a big deal those are both really big numbers there that make this mouse very accurate very good for flicking um, it's one of those that you really need to fucking really consider when you're looking for a wired mouse um, if you really want wireless if wireless is just that big a deal to you which it really shouldn't be because I mean, as you can see here, I'll switch back over. As you can see here, I do have uh, my mouse bungee. It's not hooked up to it now because obviously I wanted to pull the mouse up closer, but I have my mouse bungee here and it's a nice mouse bungee and it doesn't even feel like the, the wire is there at all when you have the right length of putting it onto the mouse bungee. But anyways, so back to this uh, optical mouse switches Gen 3. There's six program programmable buttons. Um, the DPI button on the bottom does not like uh, macro to anything else. However, if you don't want to use Synapse, you got the standard, you know, four, was it 400 uh, DPI to 3,200 or 6,400 DPI on your mouse. I believe it's uh, 6,400, but yeah. So other than that, this mouse is amazing. You get a closer up picture of it compared when it's brand new. I mean, you can see where I was talking about the scroll wheel. It's, it's much more uh, raised compared to the Viper 8 kilohertz. Um, the shape is obviously a tried and true shape. This is more like a Zowie EC1, EC2 type clone, but it's got a little bit more of the Death Adder curves trying to kind of like, like a minimized version of the curves in it. Um, but yeah, this thing is light, feels really good. Um, the only thing I can say too is like, I, I don't know if the shell over time will attract grease, like like grease, like off fingers and stuff, if it'll show it. Um, but the way it looks and the way it feels, there's no creaking. But the way it feels and the way it looks is fucking like like it might hold up, hold tried and true. Could be wrong though. I'm just saying just the way because it's really really smooth to the touch. But you will need mouse grips if you really want to get a firm grasp of this mouse. It's it definitely needs mouse grips. Um, with mouse grips, this thing is amazing to me. Um, 
but uh other than that i didn't want to talk about the, the pre and post travel now before we go to the uh or I don't know if the, the audio cuts out when I do that, but if it does, um, I want to do mention about the, the pre and post travel of the switches on the on the clicks. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's non-existent for both. Like there is no pre or post travel, maybe a minor pre travel, maybe a minor, 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 nothing that you will notice in game. And then my copy has no side play on the switches on the, on the, on the left click and right click, no side play. So it's like, wow, very quality feeling in the hands already. Now the switches, like I said, this, the switches, when you, when you hear the switches, let me make sure my mouse is not going to click on anything random. Here you go. Now I want to mention uh, the, with the switches right oh, on the scroll wheel. Now, I, I want to mention with the switches, um, these do feel actually probably a little bit mushier than the Death Adder V3 Pro. I don't know if they altered something with the switches, but they are both Gen 3 switches. So very interesting, but it doesn't bug me because obviously I'm not the enthusiast. I need to hear the loudest clack of my fucking you know, switch. I just need it to feel crisp. And it definitely feels crisp. I would say that the right click feels really crisp and the left click feels a little less crisp, but it, they both feel really nice. Um, yeah, this mouse is definitely something special. But anyways, I'm going to pull up the uh, Basilisk V3 so you guys get a look at that now. And man, I mean, look at just look at that. <laughs> Doesn't that make you want it? like it just that makes you want the mouse right there it's amazing um the only thing i can say too is like i have the black version because obviously all my stuff's pretty much black minus my desk and stuff but um having the white version would look a lot better aesthetically it looks really fucking nice it made me almost consider going to white stuff because of that literal fucking like standout of the mouse it was insane it's really looks good with with white um but anyways obviously most advanced gaming mouse this is the reason why i say it's like top tier mouse because it's literally that advanced it's got like you know there's the white one right there look at that that thing looks sharp it looks clean the rgb stands out the only thing i could say is maybe over time you'll get like a yellowy tint to it when you're sweating on it a lot unless you take care of it very well it does come with side grips um but you have to add grips on the left click right click which you can find them on on amazon or whatever or even on their website they have them there um as you can see, they got the insane attributes, put a potent a performance. They got all this stuff on here: strength, agility. I don't know why they're they're adding all that like uh, information, like in terms of that. But uh, it's got the Focus Pro 30K sensor. It's got the next gen wireless charging, uh, hyper scroll tilt wheel, hyper speed wireless, optical mouse, which is Gen 3. Um, oh, literally just shot me. Oh because it's like speeding up <laughs> i'm speeding too fast with it there you go there's the wireless charging puck going into the uh wireless charging dock um let's go to tech specs so as you can see here the tech specs this does have max speed ips 750 that's what i was looking for right now so this thing is definitely top tier 100 Progr 11 programmable buttons um 100 pure ptfe feet um four-way razor hyper scroll tilt wheel uh, electronically actuated notches, but that means where when it comes tactile, like it's electronically notching into there. It's really cool. Um, there's the sizes and the weight for you. It's 112 grams. That's a heavier mouse. Like I said, if they made a lighter weight version of this, it'd be fucking nice. Um, but you get up to 90 hours hyperspeed. Um, you know, I mean, you can see better looks of it right here. It's definitely a nice top tier mouse. You can see the scroll wheels more tilt more raised to just just like the death Adder. it's almost the same height i'm sure and then you got the side button here which obviously i do miss the paddle more the paddle was better on the v2 um in my personal opinion but the buttons it's not much of a difference so it's not nothing that makes me go fuck i just like the feel of the the actual paddle better um yeah very 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 good mouse you could do literally all this stuff with your mouse if you're using this mouse for like mmos and stuff like that or or just like games like say like tarkov where like your flicking and stuff is not as important it's like yeah it's definitely necessary to have some flicks which you can do that with this mouse um once you learn the weight of it but like to have all those features it's a big deal it's a very big deal and i feel like this is why this is one of those top tier mice on the market if not the top tier mouse now through playtime with this mouse i could tell you for sure like i said I'm, I'm gonna go back to more description of it but um with playtime with this mouse and obviously i've had this for a couple months now um 
I haven't used it as much as I should. And that was because like the games I was playing really require lightweight flicking. And so that's why I kind of focused on those mice, like like the death, I mean the um, the Viper 8 kilohertz. Um, that mouse is just something special and that's why it's a backup. I'm not getting rid of it for anything, but Ergo is just something for me. I like Ergo mice. Um, I know that with a symmetrical mouse, I, I can be somewhat accurate with sniping, probably a little bit better. But again, with more time that I spend on an Ergo mouse, I'll probably get that accuracy just as much as I would with the Viper. It's just the Viper is just like from the first grasp on and then flicking and doing it. It's just pretty comfortable, straightforward onto it. But when I'm playing with the Basilisk, it's like I know like games like Apex Legends more you know like the flicking is important but it's not as important as somebody moving left and right side to side or or running across the area and you just need to track them this thing is one of those like it's probably like top tier i mean obviously unless you're a low sense gamer you know like if you're if you play on low sense i'm talking like whole arm movements like wild then this would be kind of hard to get used to with the weight but if you did get used to it with the weight you have literally the, the fastest ips speed and everything and on top of that you have the most control because of that weight all you gotta do is just glide that weight slightly and you're locking on like i mean i'm locking on as a high sense i know this thing with tracking i'm the most accurate bar none but when it comes to flicking and stuff that's when the death adder needs to come into play here now the death adder like i said the reason why i've been enjoying this is because i've been playing games that require more flicking and and locking accuracy and this thing like i don't know it's something interesting now i know its main competitor and it's not an ergo honestly it's just the main competitor for comfort mouse in terms of shape for you just to feel comfortable out of the bat is the uh, logitech g pro super light but however the logitech, logitech g pro super light has maybe a decent sensor at best and that's about it the tech in the, the logitech g pro super light is just not there but people love it and i honestly think it's really only coming down to the shape they have a thousand hertz pulling rate and so you're not getting the fastest register of latency to your computer however it does have a really good latency for what it is but this thing trumps it by a mile and i mean this mouse is amazing now it's an ergo mouse but this is as comfortable of like a just put your hand on it and try it out type of ergo mouse as possible there's people that don't use ergo mice that have been maining this as their top main mouse well technically the wireless version but this one just came out and if you're really considering saving you know 40 50 bucks and, and and you don't mind wireless i mean uh wired if you don't mind wired and you want to save that money and get even better tech like the top literally the best tech you could get out there get the death adder v3 i'm 100 percent encouraging anyone that was really considering getting a mouse at this level get this mouse 100 percent without a doubt now if you're looking for an all-arounder that you don't mind the weight all around her with all the features and bells and whistles and you're still at a competitive advantage too then get the basilisk and if you're about aesthetics too obviously aesthetics to me like is a big thing but it's not like the the baker break thing like that's why i got the death adder v3 pro is because or v3 wire try the, the death adder v3 wire is because i don't need the rgb when i'm playing competitively i just need my mouse to be fucking performing um but yeah when i'm like just chilling you know we're watching videos or whatever on stream um, i want my you know underglow people can see and enjoying and stuff like that so that's where this mouse comes in and obviously my editing and stuff but i do use this in game i do use this in game at times sometimes I, I just want to get a break from my mice i'm one of the most picky people when it comes to mice and so i do my research and everything but like I, people know on stream i'm always swapping mice out like i'm always just going fuck i want this i want that and same thing with audio too the audio i'm like i'm, go I'm going the hd 560 yes for sen from sennheiser oh i'm going to the bear dynamic tiger 300 r i'm always swapping between a bunch of them right but here when it comes to mice i'm telling you right now you choose these two either one of these two and if you're looking for symmetrical mouse just wait because the viper v2 8 kilohertz is going to be coming out and i know when they release that mouse that's going to be the same thing as this mouse like in terms of tech and everything but wired and cheaper and it's going to be top tier i don't think there's really any other mice you should be thinking about razor owns the mice game right now there's not even a, a second thought about it however the only thing i think that comes close and i'm actually thoroughly impressed and quite like happy that people are doing stuff like that is like asus asus is getting coming out with that aim labs collaboration mice thing and that mouse is really good um it's similar to the shape of like the like like a it's hard to say but it's got it's got i mean there's some similar shapes out there to that mouse however if you want literally just comfort right off the bat and the top tier tech, you're going with the Death Adder V3 wired or the V3 Pro if you want wireless. And if you really want like just the all-arounder best, like I would say like just the best mouse out currently, 
in terms of everything minus just the weight obviously is literally the basilisk v3 pro i personally think and i know you're spending quite a bit of money on this but if you're looking for literally the best mouse on the market that does everything without having to think of another mouse like me i always like to have backup mice i always have, i have backup everything but when i when it comes to backup mice if you need a backup mouse there's no point in getting this mouse because in reality, because if you don't want to settle with one mouse and you want to get like maybe one and then one for a backup, this mouse is like you either paying all that money to go all in on it or you're just going to fucking go and get two cheaper mice and have one for backup, one for productivity or whatever. You could go and get a Basilisk V2 for like probably dirt cheap and it'll be a plenty good productivity mouse. You don't need the performance of it, but you'll still have your performance mouse. You see what I'm saying? So the Basilisk V3 Pro for me, because I personally am the biggest fan of Basilisk the line i i love it and i can personally i can like push all these mice away right now and just go you know what i'm gonna stick to 100 this and i can be happy with it however like i said when i want the actual competitive advantage when i want the top tier competitive advantage and i don't want anybody telling me that they have something better they don't because that's i have this in my hands and this is brand new so that's why i'm settling with this this is my new main and so far with five hours of use i love it but if you're definitely wanting to come by and and, and talk on stream um or or even in youtube off, on the comment section or if you want to talk in stream and chat uh please come by and ask me questions about the death adder v3 wired versus the death adder v3 pro i could tell you about both i have tested both um at this point and then maybe obviously in the foreseeable future you'll be able to uh ask me after i've had plenty of time with this and how it's the longevity of it is and whatnot and same thing with the basilisk if you see me popping around with the basilisk you will which you will you'll see me playing certain games with the basilisk but if you have any questions about the basilisk v3 let me know chat youtube you name it i'll be there to help you guys out anyways i hope you find this video very informative very helpful um please follow like and subscribe like i said it truly means the world to me and I, but i and honestly i should be looking at you guys but I, I put my streaming stuff here so i've been looking at me talking to you which i should be looking at you guys but anyways uh i appreciate all the support thank you so much and again like i said if you guys want to see gameplay or, or even ask questions about tech um obviously the razor guy here so follow like and subscribe it truly means the world to me and i'll see you guys in the next video depending on what it is i have no idea but i'm sure it's gonna be something special See you on stream and and comment section. I don't know. Whatever. I'll see you later.